G'day guys, Matt here from Not In The Manual. Just gonna do a final test here today on Navigate On Autopilot. I, trying to find a, a, a positive, uh, <laughs> stretching to find a positive on this. Um, you can see here, we're in the 100 zone. I will activate Autopilot, change to 100, 100 kilometer hours, 100 kilometer per hour. Let's see how it handles this. We need to come in. All right, it's done that quite smooth. Now what we're gonna do is go into the city of Sydney via the Harbour Bridge. Now this is gonna be a bit of a pressure test for, um, for Navigate on Autopilot. There's a lot of different um, lanes to choose from. Uh, it's it's gonna get quite complicated. So I can see if you didn't know your way in Sydney, this could possibly be useful for you to, uh, you know, navigate your way across, you know, through through a complex city. So you'll see there's multiple lane choices. It changes a time of day as well, and um, yeah, it's 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 a bit tricky. So I thought this would be a good pressure test for it. Uh, Gone back to an 80k zone now, set to 80. You can see that it doesn't automatically change down to the speed limit um, by the posted speed signs. The only time that the car on autopilot or navigate on autopilot will reduce the speed uh, is if you're in an exit lane. So if you're in an exit lane, it will automatically slow the car down for the exit. And um, that that's something that, uh, you, you, you know, you, you need to be aware of, that this isn't going to change the speed. So it would be quite scary sometimes because it doesn't always get the speed signs right. And I've looked down sometimes and seen it say 30 kilometers an hour. So if you were driving along at 80 and, uh, oh sorry, it does turn off in tunnels. So when it doesn't have a GPS signal, you can see then navigate on autopilot has turned off. So um, yeah, I, I, I wanted to make this video today because I think this is probably a scenario where I think it's it, it's a positive, it's a plus. So it, it, it helps you get, you know, in the right lane for, for things. But, you know, standard navigation will do that, um, but you would need to look down at the screen or listen to the voice or whatever. This actually puts you into the right lane. Now, I've tested this a couple of times and I tried to film this video the other day, but it, it absolutely poured rain just as I was coming up to the Harbour Bridge and Navigate on Autopilot turned off. So that was uh, that video was a bit of a waste of time, but um, you can see here, it doesn't work in tunnels. Um, that's something you need to be aware of as well. I think, you know, Navigate on Autopilot could be useful to some people. I, I'm not gonna bag it out 100% because uh, someone may find it useful, but my only warning is be very careful with it on exit ramps and entry ramps onto to motorways because the, it, it really, it's really quite clunky in that scenario. Um, it often chops and changes or it will try and change into a lane that's ending. Um, yeah, it, it's really confusing. So I suggest when you first start trying this out, don't activate it until you're well and truly onto the motorway. And as you're just about to take an exit off a motorway, uh, I suggest you turn it off, cancel it by pushing the shift stalk upwards and, and take the exit manually because it can do some quite scary things. Uh, I don't, auto lane change works really well. Um, you can see here, I'll do an auto lane change here now. Very smooth, nice and gentle, works really well. Um, it speeds up to overtake if you were doing less than the speed limit. It works really well, but auto lane change during an exit maneuver uh, on a motorway exit or a motorway entry is not so smooth. So it's it's really, um, I don't know, that's going to have to improve a lot for me to, to be able to suggest someone, you know, have for this, this feature to be to be good and useful. Uh, I think on those long journeys on freeways, I found it quite good, uh, suggesting lane changes, uh, reminding you, you know, to do the speed-based lane changes. And here we go, back on again. Now, 
I, I found it quite good. You know, let's just see how it goes. Um, we're, we're going to be at the Harbour Bridge here. You can see we're coming into that very soon. I think of these systems on the Tesla like, it doesn't make me not like the Tesla uh, as a car, as a whole package. You know, this is something where it, it's, it's not perfect, but I still really think that the, the te Teslas are one of the best EVs on the market. The Model 3 especially, it's, it's much better value for money than a lot of other EVs on the market. It's super efficient. Um, it charges reasonably fast, the standard range. Uh, I've, I've got a video I'm putting together of a long trip. I did a longer trip, regional trip outside of Sydney. And I stopped and charged twice um, during the day, once for 10 minutes, once for 15 minutes. And that was enough. I mean, it, it, it charges, you know, I got just over 100 kilowatts um, when I was at like 40% state of charge. About, and, and you know, it's, it's quite good. Um, this, this standard range car with the LFP battery, it's still going to charge faster than a lot of other EVs on the market and um, in this price range. And really, you know, if you're getting the performance version or the long range version, it looks like now, you know, you're going to get super fast speeds. And um, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really in two minds about this enhanced autopilot package. Uh, I, th I think it is great for those longer journeys where you're not doing a lot of lot of manoeuvres and anyway I, I, I think it's great there you can you can um, use your own judgment so you can see here it's warning me about that la upcoming lane change now I can actually cancel that by pressing this blue button up here but I want to do this lane change you can see here there's becoming more and more lanes and um, we'll let's just see I've, I've done this twice so far and it, it got me across got me in the right lane um, yeah it's a difficult scenario and it worked let's see here we go you can see here lots of choices I mean it's got me in the right lane for the Harbour Bridge it's matching the sign and this is where there's the variable lanes here so let's see how it goes so at the moment it's still got me in the tunnel lane now I know it's, it's going to need to get me into this other lane but this one's ending hopefully it won't try and get me into this lane that's ending um, and it will only get me across further down so I've done this trip thousands of times so I, I know this this anyway but if you were someone coming from outside of Sydney this could be quite useful All right, now it should get me over. Yes, it has. Here we go. Auto lane change. And then we're going to need to do this little maneuver here with merging cars. And um, yeah, look at this. It's quite well. It's nice and smooth, not too jerky. And it's going to need to maneuver me here. Toll booth detected. <laughs> First time I've ever seen that come up. Here we go. Let's make sure it doesn't make me change too early. Look at this. It's taking this merge lane. Oh, a little bit of a jerk on the steering wheel, but no, it did it. It did it. Okay, it wants me to get over again. Here we go. Working quite well. So I wanted to try and end this on a positive note to show you, hopefully demonstrate that this is useful. Uh, and, and can work in certain scenarios, but you know, it, it's, it's something to be careful with. And you can see here it's worked perfectly. So I don't know, once I get over the Harbour Bridge, it'll be hit and miss as to whether it uh, continues navigate on autopilot. Um, so we've got a 70 speed zone here I need to slow down for, hold down the shift stalk, that's now set to 70 and that's the one thing you need to be aware of and it's easy to forget that uh, while you're using this system because it's still a very capable system this autopilot and you do need to remember those speed zones so you can see there there's some adjoining speed signs for the other lanes there that were 40 so it wants me to get over now and this 
this yep there's a car coming up here this is a good demonstrate you can see here it's picked up both those cars and it's not safe to do a lane change let's see yep it's not gonna do it just now you can see there's no clear spot so it's slowing down and speeding up all right this nice person's about to let me in all right thanks mate <laughs> If only you knew what I was doing. Um, all right, still working fine. Now, this always scares me coming along the bridge here because these lanes change. Uh, you can see there's four lanes coming the other way and um, two lanes going this way, and that varies. And the car has actually picked that up. So um, I'm holding onto this steering wheel very tightly. I don't know if you can see that, but this is, you know, we call this death lane because. <laughs> there's nothing between you and the cars coming in the other direction and um, hopefully you're getting a good view of the city there you know I always loved um, coming here into Sydney and you've got the nice buildings there's some new fancy that's a big casino there uh, that's called Barangaroo that area there and that's a big uh, big uh, casino there I can't remember which one it is a crown casino or something that they're uh, trying to get permission to open up all right, this is another confusing section here for it. It's got me in the right lane and uh, pretty happy with that. I've got another lane change coming up. Okay, it's decided not to do the lane change now. See, it handles cars coming into your lane quite well too. Um, I don't think it's actually seeing indicators. I think it's just if someone cuts you off you would still have an issue you'd probably still have to put your foot on the brake but as you can see here this has been a pretty good pressure test for this system this is a nice bit here too where you're coming down between the buildings a lot of uh, car commercials have been filmed on this road they close it off and you know have the cars coming down this nice piece of road so I think Navigator and Autopilot's going to finish up here No, it hasn't finished up yet. It's going to keep going for a little bit here. So this is where we uh, end the closed access sort of road. There we go, Navigate on Autopilot is finished. It got me through one of the most difficult sections of road here in Sydney. And um, that's pretty impressive. So I really just wanted to end this uh, review in a positive light because this system does work if you're careful where you use it and I, I think the auto lane change I'm very impressed with but it is mostly useful on longer trips and uh, I, I've been very impressed with that and the navigate on autopilot I could take it or leave it um, I've tried to you know show you some different points of view here where it, it, it may be useful um, Hopefully, you know, you guys guys can see that and it, it got me through that tricky piece of road. But look, I mean, that's some, some, some very clearly marked lanes and uh, I don't know. It was tricky, but it's ideal circumstances as well. Good weather, clear lane markings and uh, yeah, I don't know. Pretty, pretty happy. I mean, look, 18 degrees. We're in the middle of winter here in Sydney sun's out 18 degrees you know it, it's it's pretty cool um probably different to our winter that a lot of you guys have but all right guys i might kill it here because there's not really much else to show you uh, i appreciate you guys watching my videos um i'm pretty happy of of you know most of my feedback has been positive i'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos um you know, the, the nice comments motivate me to keep making these videos. It does take me a lot of time to, to do these videos and edit them, but I'm getting, getting better at it. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying the format. And yeah, all right guys, I'll call it a day. Um, I've got to keep going, pushing through the city. Okay, before I go, just a quick mention, I am working on the other videos. It's just a matter of getting time. I, it's summon is, 
it's one of those things I've got to find the right place to do it. I'm not comfortable just doing it in a big public car park where, um, you know, I, I, I've got to worry about it uh, hitting someone else's car. I'm trying to work out the best place to do that for you to demonstrate the features without taking a risk. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm still working that out. But I am finding some of the features of Summon are, are, could be quite useful to people. So I, I really want to demonstrate that fairly. And that's what I'm trying to do is just be fair with these reviews. So it's not all one-sided. Um, you know, look, I really struggled to find a positive with Navigate and Autopilot, to be honest. It's not something that um, I would get this package for. And, um, but, you know, it's up to you. I, I've, I've hopefully, my aim is to put enough information here for you to make the decision yourself and uh, not influence your decision at all. Just put the facts here and just give you some honest reviews. So um, I'll, uh, I'll keep going and uh, catch you soon. Thanks, guys.